Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Michael Vick, live on VicTube. So, yeah, so there are um, rumors uh, swirling that um, Duan Mathis uh, is a step ahead of the pack um, since uh, Jamie Newman uh, opted out. Right, yeah, we have um, heard that uh, Mathis has been uh, getting uh, the majority of first team reps. Oh, um, yes, yeah, so of course, his, uh, his, um, his main uh, competition, of course, is uh, JT Daniels, yeah, the uh, transfer from Southern Cal. So, um, yeah, yeah, so, um, we don't really have, um, a whole lot of experience, uh, um, at quarterbacks, uh, on our roster, you know, uh, the JT Daniels, uh, let's see, he, uh, started for USC in, um, 2018, right, uh, um, he didn't, uh, p play very good. And then, um, last year, um, he was, um, injured, uh, in the first game, yeah, um, out for the season, uh, with a knee injury. And, uh, and yeah, he has, um, still, uh, not yet been cleared to play. And then, uh, of course, Mathis, uh, last year... Uh, he had a uh, he had to have um, surgery uh, to remove a uh, a brain cyst. So um, yes, yeah, so um, personally, uh, um, I would like uh, to see uh, Duan Mathis uh, get the start, but uh, I know it's uh, it's um it's not up to me yeah it will probably be a uh, a game time decision but um uh yeah so um so um uh yeah so um JT Daniels is um it it, it, it is um is like Jake Fromm, no, uh, actually, uh, JT Daniels is, uh, is even worse than Jack Fromm. So, yes, let's, uh, compare the, uh, uh, the stats. Yes, yeah, so, um, JT Daniels, uh, 2018 Southern Cal, he had, uh, he had, uh, 2,672 yards, uh, passing, uh, 14 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Uh, he completed 59.5% uh, of his passes, and he had 7.4 yards per attempt. And um, negative 149 rushing yards. Right, yeah, that's negative... Uh, 149 rush yards, which is terrible. Okay, so now, um, Jake Fromm, let's see, uh, let's see, um, junior year at UGA, so that was last year, uh, 2019, he had, uh, 2,860, uh, passing yards, 24 touchdowns, Five interceptions. Um, he completed uh, sixty point eight percent of his passes. Uh, Seven point four yards per attempt, and negative twelve rush yards. So yeah, so Jake Brom, you know, putting up, put up, uh, uh, put up better numbers than. Uh, than, uh, than JT Daniels. So, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so the thing that, that really, uh, concerns me, uh, 
the most with uh, with JT Daniels and why uh, I want uh, Duan Mathis to start is m m mobility. Yeah, um, J JT Daniels, uh, not mobile at all, like I already said, negative 149 uh, rush yards. Oh, um, yeah, so, uh, so if, um, yes, yeah, so the, uh, uh, the reason, so, so the main reason why I want, uh, Duan Mathis to start is because of his mobility, um, because he, yeah, yeah, yeah because uh, I think that, uh, uh, that, um, we need to, um, shake things up, yeah, uh, with a, uh, uh a dual threat uh, quarterback, you know, one of these, you know, you know, quarterbacks, you know, that can run around. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so we uh, brought in a new offensive coordinator in, um, in Todd Munkin. So, uh, yeah, so I think we need to, uh, to, to make some, uh, some big changes. And I think that, uh, having, a Math as a quarterback, you know, you, you know, would, uh, would, would, uh, would, 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 would really make a difference, you know, it would, uh, uh make a splash, uh, in, um, George's offense. So, um, yeah, and, and, and then plus, um, it would be a, uh, a, a good story, uh, because Mathis, you know, uh, would, of course, you know, you, you, you know, coming in, you know, and, and finding himself, you know, buried on the depth chart, having his, uh, uh, his, uh, uh, his brain cyst, um, surgery. I think that, yeah, that he, that he was able to practice some, uh, late in the season. Yeah, he was able to, um, participate in, uh, in bowl practices, right, but, uh, no contact, so, um, yeah, so, um, Duan Mathis said, uh, that, yeah, that, that, that it, that it was a, uh, a humbling, uh, mum, 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 experience, yeah, he said, he says that, uh, yeah, that it, um, made him a, uh, a, a better person, uh, because of the, that, um, adversity, so, um, yeah, so, um, so I like, yeah, so, so I like Mathis, uh, to start for UGA. He's tall, he's fast, and he has a, a good arm. So, um, yeah, and I mean, uh, he, he, he doesn't have to be Lamar Jackson, right? He doesn't have to run for a thousand yards, you know, I think if he gets, you know, you know, you, you, you know, you, you, you know, if he gets, you know, you, you know, between like, you know, 300 and 500, uh, rush yards, well, um, I think, uh, yeah, that would be a, uh, a, a, a big improvement over, um, no, over no quarterback run, over, over no, uh, quarterback run game, so I think that, you know, 400, 500 something yards, uh, would, uh, uh, would help. Yeah, so, I'm um, having a, uh, a dual threat quarterback, you know, he can, uh, uh, escape, you know, pressure, right, he can, uh, escape the pocket, he can, you know, scramble, scramble around, he can, uh, mum, 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 buy time to, find an open receiver, or, or, or he, he can just take off, right, he, he, he can just scramble, uh, pick up, uh, the first down with his legs, and, uh, so, yeah, so when the, uh, when the uh, quarterback takes off, you know, when he does one of those, um, improvised, you, you know, runs, it can turn into a, uh, a big play, yeah, it, it can turn into a, into a 50, you know, 60, uh, yard play, so, um, yeah, so, plus, there, there, yeah, there's gonna be, uh, some, uh, some inexperience, uh, on the, uh, 
offensive line this year. We have some uh, uh, some new uh, faces, you know, some players, you know, learning a uh, uh, a new position, right? I th I think uh, yeah yeah we bring back yeah yeah yeah, yeah we bring um, only uh, the uh, uh, the center um, um, Trey Hill um, is is really our only returning starter. So now we had a uh, uh, a couple of other guys, Mum um, Mum Two, who uh, started uh, some games uh, um, last year. But yeah, but it it will be an offensive line uh, that is not all uh, played together. So there might be some you know some you know growing pains earlier in the season having a. Uh, a a mobile quarterback can uh, uh, can can make up for that, you, 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 you know. Plus, uh, having a dual threat quarterback that also uh, my mom helps the uh, uh, the running game. Not not just with the quarterback picking up runs with his legs, but it can also improve your uh, uh, the production from your running backs. As well, um, so um, yeah, be, 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 because it keeps uh, the defense uh, guessing. Um, my mom, who's uh, gonna run the ball, you know, so, so that way, you know, the, uh, uh, the quarterback he could either uh, ha hand the ball off, yeah, he could uh, run it himself on a design run, or he can. Uh, keep it in, or he can, uh, throw the ball, right, and of course if he, uh, uh if, if the play breaks down, he can improvise, uh, with his legs, so, um, yeah, and plus that also, uh, improves the, uh, uh, the passing game, because, you, you, you know, that will put, uh, more, uh, defensive players um, up near uh, the line of scrimmage and um, fewer uh, in coverage. So, um, yeah, so uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, next time.